In my opinion, the best way to get familiar with the MIDI transform functions is to play with and experiment with the presets that are already installed in the MIDI transform when you buy Logic. Now, I showed you the shortcut to access the MIDI transform window in the last tutorial, but you can access the MIDI transform presets from any MIDI editor available to you in Logic. Now, this is the tracks area, but you can also edit MIDI in here, at least MIDI regions. And if you go under the functions, the local functions menu, and go here to where it says MIDI transform, here are all the presets. And I could access any other presets from here and it will open up my MIDI transform window. Let me close that out. If I open my piano roll editor, same thing under functions, there's my MIDI transform menu. If I go to the score editor, functions, MIDI transform presets. Step editor, same thing, functions, MIDI transform presets. And of course, if I open up my uh, event editor over here under functions, MIDI transform. And I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to bring in uh, fixed velocity. Close out my event list, and I'm going to close out my editor at the bottom of the screen. So, in this case, uh, I'm going to ex just demonstrate some of the presets on the same piano region that I had in the last tutorial. And I'll open up my piano roll so you can kind of see what's happening here. In this first preset, it says fixed velocity. So, what I'm saying now is I don't want the velocity to be all across the place. I want a very specific velocity. So you'll see in the selected events, everything is very much just like it was the last time. All positions, notes, all channels, pitch, velocity, length, sub position. But this time position is going through. It's not going to change the position. It's not going to change the status. It's not going to change channel, pitch. It will change velocity, but instead of random, it's at a fixed velocity and the length is going through and nothing's happening here. Now, there's a option here that says hide unused parameters. If I click this, anything that we're not affecting won't show up. And by default, when you're in your presets, it'll probably look like this. You won't see all of these options. So if you're looking at your logic and you don't see the ability to have menus here, it's because hide unused parameters is checked by default. I had mine off so you could see um, all of those things. And when you click to turn it off, it'll tell you, it says, this is protect. This is a protected transform parameter. You should create a user set to customize the parameters. Just going to say okay to that so you can see that. All right. So with this, I'm going to say fix all the velocities and I can double click in here and I'm going to type in, let's say 69, hit return. Now, at the bottom, in the last tutorial, I just hit select and operate. That means it's going to select everything that this is determined by, and then it's going to perform this function. But you can also just say operate only, and that way it won't select anything. It'll just do the function like such. Nothing was selected, nothing happened. Now, I can say select only, and then it will select everything that this applies to. Everything is selected, but nothing happened. So I'm going to say select and operate, and then it sets everything to 69. Now, and the reason operate didn't work is because nothing was selected. You can actually, let me undo this. You can actually select just individual notes. So those notes are selected. And now if I say operate only, it only applied to the notes that I selected because I didn't say select and operate. So it ignored this saying select everything and it just went to the events that were already selected manually by me. Let's look at a couple of others. Let's do a uh, crescendo. So crescendo is basically saying, hey, anything inside of bars one through five and position here is really relative to the region, not to the track. So in other words, if this region was at bar 10, it would be talking about MIDI events in that region, starting at the beginning of the region would be bar one for the region. So if it's a five bar region, it would be everything that's in that region but it has nothing to do with where you are in time in the arrangement. So anything in this region from bar one to bar five, uh, you're not going to change the position. 
but any note that's in that selection, what we're going to do is we're going to change the velocity and there's a crescendo for the uh, operation and it's going to start at velocity of one and go to 127. I could change this so it starts a little bit higher, but I'm just going to leave it there and say select and operate. And now we get this. All right, so undo that. Look at a couple of other here, other ones. Let's look at um, transpose. So transpose saying all notes, all velocities, all pitches. And what we're going to do is change the pitch is the only thing that's being changed. And it says add. So it's going to add a pitch value. Right now at zero, it won't do anything. So let's, uh, let's go up seven semitones, a fifth and say select and operate. Well, listen at the beginning first here. So I'm gonna say select and operate. You may end up using the MIDI transform and only use presets. The presets are great. I mean, there's so many things you can do here. Velocity limiter. Basically with this, I'm going to affect the velocity of all of the notes and I can set what I want the maximum velocity to be, kind of creating a limiter with velocity instead of an audio limiter. So I'm going to set this down to, uh, let's say I don't want any velocities over 60. Select and operate. Everything is slapped at a ceiling here of 60. significantly reducing the dynamic range. Undo. Now, this one I'm saving for last here. Uh, let me actually close out the piano roll editor for this one. And I have a hidden track in here that I worked on in the earlier tutorial when we was talking about the step editor. So I've got these drums, these hip hop drums in here, and they are playing against this Latin lounge piano. They don't really go together initially here. That doesn't sound good. And I'm going to loop this so that it's the same length. Let me close this out. Same length of um, my drum part here at the top. Play it again. Again, that doesn't feel good. This is happening. It just feels like it's out of time and too fast. So I'm going to uh, bring back my MIDI transform. And this time I've got my piano selected. I'm going to go here and I'm going to say half speed. And now all notes will be multiplied. All positions will be multiplied by two. And all of the lengths will be multiplied by two of all of the notes, everything else is going through. So the length and the position is going to be doubled. So I'm going to say select and operate. Now, if you listen, So you can do a lot of interesting things with this to help you in your music production. This can also do a uh, double. Just this won't sound good, but just to show you, we can go in the opposite direction. Instead of half speed, I undid that. So I'm back here at the original. And then if I go here and say um, double speed. So it basically, it's like time compressed the MIDI and it's all shrunk down into one bar now. I'm going to put it back on uh, half speed. 